Well, I've lived here my whole life. Um, when I was little, all there was was onion fields north of Lyons Avenue. Highway 5 was a two-lane road, and um, I've seen a lot of changes in my lifetime. The only hospital here was an eight-bed hospital. And about 35 years ago, Henry Mayo was built, and the community has outgrown it. When you have patients just lined up in ER and there's not beds for them to be, to be admitted to, it's just a very frustrating thing for everyone. Great resources here, great services here, but I've, there's always patients waiting for beds and that just breaks my heart. Uh, we've got malls here, we've got all kinds of chain stores coming in, but what about health care? I think we had 160 beds in 1984. We now have 221. And we, we now have, what, 285,000 people. And now, since we've been up here 11 years, I guess, mm -hmm. the population has almost doubled. It's huge. We need a bigger hospital, and we need it now. Now. In order to attract doctors to our community, they want, they want to have, number one, a facility to have their office, their radiology, and they want to be next door to a first-class hospital. You would have to vote to expand the hospital because, again, with the hundreds of thousands of people that live in the valley, it's going to be to the betterment of the majority of people for that to happen. They're going to come whether we're ready or not. Whether we're ready or not. I can do almost everything in my life right here in Santa Clarita Valley, but I can't get all my health care here. The plans for expansion for the cardiology um, services here is extremely important to this community. Unfortunately, we're all getting older and uh, the need for cardiac treatment is, is never ending. It's incredibly important to have uh, specialists in our community, especially at a level two trauma center like we are at Henry Mayo. How important is it to you to get close? Well, because I, not only do I do obstetrics, but I also cover the emergency rooms many times. And uh, it is vital for me to be able to be available within a few minutes. Uh, not only to deliver babies, obviously, that goes without saying, but for emergency gynecological surgery, so uh, uh, emergency patients who need immediate attention. So being on the campus, is uh, probably one of the most important things uh, in, uh, in my practice. Your, your chances of uh, surviving a trauma or things like that are going to be greatly improved. It's a peace of mind for me and my patients. When it's a good facility, you know what, the best doctors will come. Allowing the hospital to expand is crucial to recruiting very high quality specialists. If they can do that, why, I mean, why hold them back? Well, let them be as big and successful as they can be, and that success will spread health to our community. We need to have the centers of excellence. We need to have the parking. We need to have all of the things that the master plan brings to this campus. Just like in life and cardiology, I think that you have to be proactive, not retroactive. You don't want to be trying, in hindsight, to be expanding these services. It's the crown jewel in our community. We need this. We need centers of excellence. We need great doctors. We, we need a place that we're all gonna use someday. My name is Barbara Beebe Long, and six years ago I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And um, I became a big fan of Henry Mayo in a very personal way at that time. The, our Sheila Arvillos Breast Imaging Center is truly one of the proudest things that I have in my life. I had my mammogram today. I couldn't have had better treatment. I couldn't have been diagnosed and looked at with better equipment. The people there, the physicians there, the management there, it starts from the top. The beautiful center that we all built, I couldn't be more proud. Sheila Vilos had been a patient at Henry Mayo and um, passed away from breast cancer. And her husband, Tom Vilos, gave the money to get this breast center started. And uh, it's really a shame that Sheila never saw it what it's become because it's just a wonderful service to the community. You see, what's important when you're dealing with cancer, it's not one doctor that makes a decision. It's a team, and I think of it as um, links in a chain. We're in Building F, and the Ambulatory Care Center is the other side of the hospital. It's third building down, so the 
The procedure is the patient comes to us first. We localize the, the area in the breast. Then we send the patient over to the ambulatory care building. She waits, she's prepped and set up for surgery. If any of those links are weak, the end product, which is a successful cancer treatment result, won't happen. During the surgery, they remove the tissue in question, so the specimen from the patient is sent to us while she's still asleep on the table. Then we x-ray it, doctor reviews it to determine did they get all of the lesion and do they have clean margins. If the answer is no, then the surgeon goes back in and takes more tissue. If it's the answer is yes, you got clean margins, then they close the patient and wake her up. Well, that's the real ticket. I mean, that's, that's the key. The fact that we have continuous access to each other steps the patient care up to a level that's unprecedented because patients are continuously being cared for by all of us. And we do it here, which is amazing. I'm very proud of us, and I'm very proud to be able to be a part of it. What if I told you all, but we don't, you don't really need this building here on this campus. You could be down the street. You could be oh, no. across town or something. What would you say to that? That would not work. It's a very intimate process. You want to have one comprehensive building so that the patient walks in and it's one-stop shop. And that includes everything from the social worker to genetic counseling, everything. It's got to be in one area. Nothing would be as good as just putting us all in the same building. I recently went down to Orange County and I saw one of the you know, cancer centers there and we have all of the ingredients to do that, except we're missing the building. <laughs> and that needs to be on campus in a medical office. Thank you so much to this community for supporting it. Thank you, Don and Wayne, and everyone else who gets behind supporting our local breast imaging center. It's a great one. It's such an amazing center of excellence. We need more of them, things like that, all over our campus. From the Sheila Arves Vellos Breast Imaging Center to the UCLA Oncology and Surgical Specialists here that are located at Henry Mayo, um, I just felt like the community and the hospital had rescued me from what my worst fears were. Well, I wish I could uh, take the council members back in the time machine to see what happened here in the earthquake in 1994 um, when people were roughly in this area lined up and there was no room at all in the hospital at that time. There was people coming and going on foot, uh, people crying, uh, operations going on in the hallway. In the middle of the night, four o'clock in the morning, I guess it was, we had the major earthquake. Um, everything came crashing down, could barely get out of my room to be able to get to my son. My husband was in Arizona. He flew back, it took him an hour to get back, flight's not that long. It took him six hours to get from Burbank to Santa Clarita Valley because of the freeways that had gone down in the New Hall Pass. In the 94 earthquake, we were completely isolated and we needed that hospital desperately. With the bridges going down, we really were the only hospital and the only resource in the area. Um, so we had a set of triage. We saw five to 600 patients that day. If we had an earthquake, the magnitude of the 1994 earthquake, could we meet the needs of the expanded population? I want them to look at that and realize that they need to cast the vote yes for the master plan. You know, this community is, is rather unique uh, in its quality, and the reason for that is because people dedicate a lot of time to ensuring that uh, things like this hospital expansion get done. Volunteerism is important to me, and, and we have our business in this community. We live in this community, and I think it's important to give back. I've given and been active on many, many charities. And now in my retirement, I only have one charity, and that is the hospital. We've actually been involved with Henry Mayo for um, as long as we've had the magazine, 18 years. And um, we've supported it for many years, and it's really in our heart. You know, it's um, our first experience there, which um, was just when my son, Alex, was... Um, he had um, appendicitis, and it was ruptured. And so we were there at 1 o'clock in the morning. The last important time that we came here was when my son broke his neck on a motorcycle accident. Terrifying, <laughs> absolutely terrifying. And it's, 
patients. It, it was proof to me that how vital it is to have a community hospital. He was paralyzed from the neck down. About as bad as it gets uh, for being a parent. It's right there with, you think your son's gonna die, but right up there with being as bad as dying would be that your son was paralyzed for the rest of his life. What happened here was a miracle. I mean, it was out of my control completely. But whoever was in control, uh, God and the people that run this hospital, uh, sent all the right people at the right time. He's at the seven year old. I'll yeah. seven year old. <laughs> but, but he's taller than us now, and he's perfectly healthy, and... Uh, um, and Thanks to him. Um, Do we like the hospital? Yes. Did, he save, did they save his life? I believe so. Since then, the recovery was amazing, so we flipped the page from devastation to a whole new idea that after that he may even be want, want to get involved with the medical field. So uh, talk about a miracle, that's even one in itself, that he came from a, being paralyzed to having an interest in becoming a doctor himself to save the next kid. really don't think too much about a hospital until you need it. And when you do, you want to know that there's one close and that it is a first class hospital. And this community has always worked together and we need to work together to make our hospital bigger and better. I would recommend voting for the master plan as soon as possible. Vote yes! I'm tickle pink to have this hospital in our community. The bigger, the better, the stronger, it's fine by me. As a part of the community, I'm very supportive of the expansion, and I believe most of the community is. But I think it takes that one person or several people to step forward, so we need that. The building is part of it, but I mean, we have a responsibility to the young people that are growing up in this community. In my past days, I was in a good place. I think that the expansion should go forward as soon as possible. The community uh, not only deserves it, but needs it. This hospital, give it a chance. You want the best for your community. So do I. You want health care that is the best in your community. So does everyone else that lives here. Let's go change the world. Get out from ourselves. You called me. Please vote yes for the Henry Mayo Master Plan. It's critical to all of us. I wish I knew what I could say to you to encourage you to realize how important it is. That's the most important decision you possibly can make. Council, listen to us, please. I know in your heart you want to see this thing happen. Make it happen. It's up to you now. All the work has been done. It's in your lap. Do the right thing. Vote yes. I would strongly urge the City Council to vote yes on the Master Plan. It's the most important vote you'll ever make for the future of Santa Clarita. And I know how much you all care about this community like we all do. Do it. Vote yes for the expansion of our master plan for Henry Mayo and Newell Memorial Hospital. And make it a 5-0. Show this community you're united 100%. Let's make this happen. I know you will, and it's a good thing for all of us. And you, council members, one day may have to use that hospital. Thank you. 
Bob, I'd like you and your fellow councilmen to approve this master plan this evening. It's the right plan for the right hospital at the right time. Please, please join with me, helping our community be able to meet the future needs of the people that live here. Support this plan. Love.